What's up, everybody? Welcome to Road Ride. I'm Let's Play RC. And I'm Captain Vanover. And today we're going to do a trick tutorial, right? Yeah, we're going to. You know, you and I have been talking about, like, what would be a cool trick tutorial. And you were mentioning, like, the Vanny Cube, and I'm like, oh, yeah, it's like this trick. And you're like, So Maybe? we haven't done that yet, right? No, we haven't done okay. it, but I don't even know if we're on the same page with what yeah, a Vanny so Cube is. Yeah, so what exactly is a Vanny Cube? So, like, I have my version of a Vanny Cube, or what I call a Vanny Cube. And then Drew says it's something else. And I want to know what you call a Vanny Cube, because what I think it is... I feel, and this is how I do it, and this is how I practice it in a simulator, I would do a front flip, like a juicy flick, and then do a 360 roll, and then juicy flick back out of it. And that's what I think of any, the other uh -huh. thing that's really important is you gotta do it really low to the ground to make it impressive. So that's a Rubik's Cube, I think. Half okay. roll, full flip, half roll. Okay. So I hate to break your heart, but <laughs> something that I do that is very, very similar, which I haven't seen many other people do, is it's basically, if you don't know what a vanny roll is, we'll leave a link in the description. A vanny roll is where you, uh, sling the quad backwards, mm -hmm. really low to the ground, and you do a full roll. And the whole goal is to try and like feel the ground as you're doing it. It's okay. not just as simple as just turning backwards and doing a roll. What if I describe a vanny cube to be is I do the same start where I go backwards, yaw, but I do a half roll and I flip out of it. Okay. So basically, so you're, it's not a Rubik's cube. It's it's not your... a Rubik's cube, but it it accomplishes the same thing as a Rubik's cube in the sense that you keep traveling the same direction. Actually. Okay. So you want to try it? Uh, yeah, let me, let me show you what I'm talking about. Yeah, first, let's, let's watch you do it first. I think this in some ways looks cooler than a Vanny roll does at it times. It sounds easy if I can wrap my head around it because whenever yeah. I do it my way, I have to blip throttle in the middle just to keep myself from losing too much attitude. Right. So losing too much altitude because, right. you know, when you're doing that many things low to the ground, eventually you're going to sag down and hit the ground. And I end up crashing a lot because I don't blip the throttle at the right location. Right. And the Vanny cube is... In the middle is, of that roll, yeah. you know? And definitely the Vanny yeah. Cube is going to be a little bit more of like an advanced maneuver. So I highly recommend you know how to do Vanny Rolls. I also recommend you know how to do typical Rubik's Cubes where you basically do a half front flip, a full roll, and then a half flip back. So you can actually They're do a back flip. wrong or something. No, right? no, that's a Rubik's Cube. That's a <laughs> Rubik's okay. Cube. No, that's a Rubik's Cube. Um, but the Vanny Cube is kind of like a hybrid mix of the two. So let's get into it. All right, let's do let's it. Do. All right, so let me start off. Let's just start with a Vanny Roll for anyone who is unfamiliar again. You notice how you kind of end up facing the direction that you were, or like the opposite direction? So I thought you always yawed out of it, normally. Uh, not into the tree. Yeah, no, I usually do it like this, just... And then yaw out. Yeah, that's how I do it. Right, and that's, you know, that, that works really well. We'll do one more. So Vanny Cube accomplishes the same thing, except for it looks like this. Oh, yeah, okay. We'll do one that more. That actually seems a little bit easier than Vanny Roll. I'm yeah. A little bit. It, it, in some ways it's easier, in some ways it's harder. You just have to wrap your head around which stick to press when. <laughs> right, exactly. The key with this is all timing. With the vanny roll, you know, you just kind of hold it and you can right. kind of come out in any direction. But it's a little easier to mess, like you could kind of like, oh, oh yeah. crooked. Yeah, if you, so, don't exit, if you don't exit the, uh, the roll at the right timing, then you're not going to be directly upside down. Right. Yeah. So what I like to do, and I'll, I'll walk it through here, is yaw, half roll, flip. And that wasn't the cleanest one, but that is the trick. Let's do it in like an open section where I can elevate a little bit and slow it down. Let's do it in here. So here we go. I'm going to yaw, flip a throttle, and that's pretty much it. So here we go. One more time. I'm going to yaw, a little blip with the roll. And I don't wait long. It's basically roll. Ah. So where are you blipping the throttle? I blip it right before the, like right, right here, right before I do the flip. So here we go. So, so after the roll? Like right here. Wait, you're upside down when you finish the roll. So you're uh, doing it before the roll? Right as, as like almost, almost right as I start the roll, I'm okay. blipping the throttle. Gotcha. Let's do one here. So yaw, blip, and roll. We go the other way. Oh, that was. I usually go one <laughs> way, so I was. Yeah, was I get in the habit of going the same way all the time too. <laughs> and nice. you do. It does require a little bit of yaw correction as well. Oh, oh, oh. that was cool though. <laughs> Roof bunk. <laughs> there we go. Let's clean it up here. Half the yaw. Man, I was er good, better earlier. Here we go. That's pretty much it. I mean, it's fun to mix in. Like, I still like, you know, vein rolling like that. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes I'll get out here. 
Nice. I think that throttle blip is pretty crucial to the maneuver. It's right here. Okay, so right as you're doing the roll, yeah. And I think the way I'm going to, it requires a little bit of opposite yaw there to straighten out, if that makes sense. So if I don't use yaw uh, during the maneuver, like, actually, never mind, that worked pretty well. You see I'm a little so crooked you, to the right? Are you coordinating your yaw and your roll when you do it? Just a little bit. That's what I thought, yeah. And that's, I think, what makes it a little bit, I think just doing it. Yeah, I think it, you'd have to, yeah, you'd have to coordinate your yaw and your roll together. So you're not just rolling, you're rolling and yawing at the same time. Correct. That was actually a good one. That's what it looks like if you don't coordinate. <laughs> right, exactly. Now that's the double. Yeah. Double roll. Yeah, so you have to yaw and roll when you do your first yaw around. It's not just a straight yaw. In right. order to compensate for the camera angle. So depending on how steep of a camera angle you have, it will determine how much roll and how much yaw you're using. Correct. Mm -hmm. Let's do one through like a gap. Just to, I think we've been doing all in open air. So let's do oh, one yeah, through like really just a big gap right here. Nice. Yeah. That sounds cool. Here we go. Nice. Ooh, that yeah, was right up on that branch. That was sick. <laughs> you, can, you don't even have to do it through a crazy gap. But it's just that reveal yeah. looks sick. It does look really cool because awesome. everybody's like, oh, he must have done that on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll come back and let's have you do it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. Fanny cube time. The thing on your OSD is very disorientating. No, you don't like it. Whoa, deer, hello, buddy. Oh my gosh, there's a deer. Yeah, that was cool. Here we go, yaw, no. Ah, oh, why can't I train my brain to do that one simple thing? It's hard too because we're under a tree canopy and I recommend if you're learning this, like go out into an open field oh, and yeah. do it. Because you can start by gaining more altitude. He's under a canopy, which it looks cooler, but it's much, much harder to do oh, this. Oh yeah, definitely. All right, here we go. Nope, I got the blip in there. You did get the blip. I you just screwed everything blip. else up, okay. See, you thought this was going to be easy. I did. It seemed really easy. You've kind of done and it. If I have enough altitude, if you don't have to worry about the blip, it is easy. But that blip, just uh, getting that blip in there. I'm just going to try to yaw blip. There you All go. Right. Nice. That was cool. All right. Yeah, that was good. That was a good entry, too. You don't yeah. need to start it fast. It's right. just the half roll flip that kind of has to be quick. All right. Yaw but you don't, blip. Don't, don't speed it up too much. Just break it down individually. Here Give yourself go. enough altitude before you start. Here, All right, we, go. here we go. Yaw, blip. Better. Okay. Now I'm going to try to yaw, blip, roll. <laughs> yaw, yaw, blip, blip roll, roll same time. Yaw, blip, roll, flip. Yaw, blip, yep. roll. <laughs> Say that seven times. Yep. Almost. Ah. Almost. I rolled too far. And you can see how quickly you kind of have to do this trick because yeah. even when you blip it with the altitude, you still are. And depending on your rates, you're going to have to get your timing just right. I'm at like 480 yeah. degrees a second. I don't know I'm at sure. like six something. Okay, so you have faster rates than I do. Yeah. But I don't think I'm moving the stick the whole way. Yes! Oh! Almost. You just, but that's the yep. hard part is you, you over flipped at the end. Yeah. But that was it. If you had just yeah. saved it at the end, that would have been it. It's a really cool looking maneuver too, visually speaking. It is, it does look really cool. It doesn't seem like much, uh, but it looks really good in the camera. Wait. Yes, yeah, hey. you got it, you got it. Nice, you got that it. actually looked really good. Yeah, that was a good one. Hell yeah, cool. So that time, it was nice. You didn't actually rush any of the maneuvers. You just did it all synchronized and it went so well. Nice, good, we can be done. <laughs> Hooray! That was a pretty good shot. Vanny cube, true Vanny cube. And that you guys was... can comment down below what you would call that maneuver. We don't have to call it the Vanny cube. No, we got to call it the Vanny cube. Okay, we're calling it the Vanny cube. cube. <laughs> I mean, that's what it is. It's yeah. the Vanny cube. Yeah, so just to reiterate, you know, it's really important to practice yawing first, getting that backwards momentum going, and then breaking down each and every part of it. So again, the half roll. Yeah, half definitely. Point. I think what actually helped me a lot was just doing the yaw and the throttle blip. Mm -hmm. Because yep. it was... I was getting the yaw, the roll, and the flip, but like the throttle blip and just squeezing it in there at the right timing is what was throwing me off. Right. 
Is I was either thinking about throttle blip or roll, but I wasn't getting both of them at the same time. Right, exactly. Without yeah. that blip, you're just going to keep descending. So mm -hmm. that's why that blip is so crucial. And you yeah. can disguise it the more you practice it as well, so it mm -hmm. doesn't even feel like you're doing the blip. And the goal is you take what you just did there, which was in the canopy, but mm -hmm. then you want to try and like you want to be exiting those flips just as low as you can get it. Yeah, yeah as low as that makes so it look even better. The ground, yeah. yeah. But that's a Vanny Cube, guys. Thanks so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this trick tutorial. Be sure to comment down below. What do you want to learn next? What trick is it? Because yeah, which one haven't we done yet? Yeah, which one have we not done that you guys want to see? And we'll do it if you comment it down below. Yeah, hit the bell. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Check out RotorRiot.com. We'll see you guys next time on Rotor Riot. See you guys. Woo!